The final walkthrough lets you ensure that the home is in good condition before you decide to sign on that dotted line and become an official homeowner. Hi, my name is Susan. I'm the Social Digital Marketing Director here at Rental Beast. Too often, first-time home buyers are not aware of the importance of the walk final walkthrough before purchasing a home, and we want to make sure that we can give you guys a, a fresh checklist that you can go through as you're doing that final walkthrough. First thing is first, make sure that what is supposed to be there is there and what is supposed to not be there is also not there. That leaves space for you to, you know, make sure that you're not missing anything and also you don't have to clean up after um, something that wasn't supposed to be there. Two, second thing, is you want to make sure that all appliances work. So check the lights, check the water, check the outlets, because what you don't want to do is sign those papers and then later on have to have um, someone come in and have to fix your appliances. Check to see if the floors and ceilings and walls have any damages. You don't want to be responsible um, for any original damages prior to you purchasing that home. It just makes it the process a little bit longer for you if you have to go in there and fix that stuff. Number four, you want to make sure to check any issues with the plumbing, the toilet, um, the drain, any sort of water damage because those can be expensive things to have to fix after you purchase the home. Five, make sure that house is in the same condition um, as it is in your AOS. If there's anything um, that had broken or any other damages after your first um, visit or anything like that or any new um, damages has been fixed. Number six, are the windows and the doors working? There's nothing worse than um, buying your house and trying to open the windows or the doors are creaky, something's just off. Again, that's another piece of, in piece of investment that you have to pay for later on that you don't wanna do. Seven, appliances are there and everything that is in the contract stays there. If there is supposed to be a fridge, a, a stove top, anything that they said they were going to update prior to you signing that uh, contract, make sure it is there. Number eight, make sure nothing new is broken. The final walkthrough is to ensure that nothing new has occurred. You want to make sure to be very diligent with this stuff. And finally, confirm that all ins inspections are completed. Do not be signing a contract unless you're sure that uh, all the stuff that you've done a diligent job as much as you want to go into that house and take a bunch of selfies and take a bunch of pictures make sure that this investment is worth it that you're spending money on something that you're not going to have to try to fix later on by yourself we hope that these are uh, really helpful just p pieces of tips and tricks for you on your final walkthrough and we'll see you next time on our other videos see you guys